Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is another special request tutorial. This is going to be on creating cursed weapons. So this goes out to Randy Shelton. He asks, can you use the same method to have a weapon that every time it attacks, it has a small chance to cause a state to, on the wielder? Like every attack has a 10% chance to cause paralysis or something? Yes and no. So um, if you wanted to have a weapon that if anybody equips it, it you know, it will have that effect. It's complicated without uh, the plugins. At least I don't know how to do that yet. However, if you want to have like it's a specific weapon that only one actor can use, then yes, you can do this. So I'll show you the way that I figured out. Um, it took me longer than I thought to figure it out, but I'll show you uh, the method that I use. So you're going to need uh, one plugin, and it's one that's uh, with the DLC. If you don't know um, how to get to your DLC and you've installed the software uh, software with Steam, you can right-click RPG Maker in your library software, and then go to Properties, and then go to Local Files, and then Browse Local Files. You'll see a DLC folder. So it's going to be in here, and you're looking for, um, it's called, let's go to MV real quick, it's the Weapon Skill uh, plugin. So you're going to go to uh, Essential Add-ons, I think it is. Or no, it's the, uh, yeah, here you go. The Kado, Kadokawa plugins. And we'll go down to W, it should be right here. There it is right there, Weapon Skill. So you're going to copy this one, and you're going to paste it into your RPG Maker uh, game folder. If you don't know where that is, you can go into RPG Maker MV, go to Game, go to Open Folder, and it'll show you the destination path right there. So you copy that file, you go into the JS plugins, you paste it in here. Once that's done, you go to this puzzle piece, and you double click on an empty space, and then you uh, go down to the weapon skill plugin. It should be in here. I've already done it to save time. So you find your weapon skill. There it is right there. Um, and you select that. So there's not too much uh, in the help file, but it shows you how to use it. And what you're going to do is you're going to highlight this skill ID number. You're going to press Control C since the right click copy doesn't seem to be working yet. Hopefully, they get that in. Um, okay, now that we've done the plugin uh, and file stuff, um, the, the next thing you want to do is you want to create a skill. You have to um, basically create a skill that the weapon is going to use every time it attacks. So, you can call it whatever you want, doesn't matter the icon. Uh, for the sake of simplicity, I call it Cursed Weapon Attack 1. And then we've gave it a 10% chance to paralyze Drifty when used. Uh, the skill type, you can use none because you're not going to award it. It's just going to be a skill that's used when you use a specific weapon. The scope, if it's a range attack weapon or multi-attack, you can. it's up to you. I just select one enemy <clears throat> as I went with like a sword. Occasion, battle screen only. The other stuff, you can leave it alone. If it's a physical attack uh, weapon, you want to go physical attack. Give it any animation you like. Um, and you can even use a message if you want. However, I left it blank because it's going to be an attack you're using all the time, so you don't really want to be spammed with that. The next thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to hit apply. Um, oh, we're going to have to give it a damage, uh, a kind of damage. So if you wanted to have the same uh, attack damage as a regular attack, but it just has this chance to paralyze, you can uh, copy, go to the first skill. This is your, your default attack, which all weapons use unless specified otherwise to attack with when you select attack. So you can highlight that, hit Control C, go all the way down to your cursed weapon, go up here and Control V to paste that uh, uh, equation in there. You could also change it if you want this attack to be stronger because it has a chance to paralyze, so we want it to be a little bit stronger. So we're going to multiply the attack by 5 instead of 4, or even reduce the defense. Uh, the damage reduction is half of what it used to be. I'm going to keep that the same though. Variance up to you, 20% uh, up or down. Critical, yeah, you know, regular attacks can critical. Why not give it a critical as well? Hit apply, and we're done with that part. Next, we're going to go to uh, common events, and we're going to create a common event. Uh, change maximum if you have to. Right click on a, or just uh, left click on a clear space, and then call it, give it a name that's something cohesive that you'll remember. I just went with curse blade. We're going to right click, we're going to insert new, and we're going to go to the tab one and control variables. So once you uh, open that up, you're going to create a new variable, so you select single variable. You're going to click on those three and select a, a free slot, and then um, call it something that's also going to match up cohesively. So I called it Curse Blade Equip. And uh, we're going to set that to a random number. Now, this is how you're going to say the, this is how you're going to give the percentage. If you want it to be, um, 
a 10% chance, you can go 1 to 10. Uh, and that's what you specified, so we're going to go with that. But you can change those numbers to be like 25% chance. If you go 1 to 4, then it'll be 25. 1 to 2, 50% of the time. You get the idea. In, uh, after that, you're going to create a conditional statement. So right-click, Insert New, uh, Tab 1, Conditional Branch. Once that conditional branch is open, you're going to select the variable you just created and set it equal to 1. And when that uh, variable randomly picks that 1, uh, which is a 10% chance, you're going to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to change the state. Um, you're going to right-click, Insert New. It's on Actors. Uh, is it Battle? Change the enemy. I think it's Tab 1. Yeah, Actor, Change State. And then you're going to select the, the person who has this special relic weapon. In this case, it'll be Drifty, and you're going to add a state. Um, the, the state you give it is up to you, but you specified paralysis as an example, so we'll go with that. And we're going to add paralysis. So basically, when you call on this common event, there's going to be a 10% chance that Drifty gets paralyzed. So now, we have our, um, we have our skill, um, we have our uh, common event, we've put, included the plugin, but now we need to make the cursed weapon. So we're going to go to weapons. We're going to create a uh, change maximum if you have to, create a new weapon, give it a graphic, give it a name, uh, give a description of what it's going to do, and then uh, we have to do one more thing. So um, the, the price and everything is up to you. One thing you have to do is what we copied from that, uh, what was it, the plugin help file, skill ID, we're going to control C right there, and we're going to paste that in there. And instead of the three that's in there, we're going to use the number of the skill that we created. And you can see in my case, it's skill number 174. I have too many skills that I've thrown in here. Um, so whatever number, this will be different for you, depending on where you put your cursed weapon attack skill. So you take that number, and you're going to go to the item or weapons, and you're going to put that number right there, skill ID, and there. You can put a space in between, but it doesn't really matter. So um, then you hit apply. Um, we still have to create a weapon type. So we're going to go over to system. Oh, no, sorry. We're going to go to types. We're going to go to Weapon Types, Change Maximum to give a free space, and we're going to add a new one called Cursed Weapons or Relic Weapons or Cursed Weapons, Relic, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. But just give that a new weapon type. Go back to your weapons and specify that that's the type that um, it's going to be for this curse. The next thing you have to hit Apply, and the next thing you have to do is go to your actors. And you have to specify um, that um, this actor can use Cursed Weapons. So in this case, I went over to Traits right click insert new went over to equip went over to equip weapon selected cursed weapons and now drifty is the only one in the game that could use this weapon because it wouldn't make much sense to have multiple people use this weapon that's going to curse drifty but maybe you could put that in your storyline isn't leave it up to you uh that could make sense like part of your soul is sealed to this weapon and when somebody else uses it it drains your power There's, you can really take it uh any direction you want so this is just another way to create a cursed weapon and you can do the, this process for multiple uh, characters, so you're not limited to just one cursed weapon, but you might have to specify that um, instead of cursed weapon, you can call this equipped weapon type Drifty's cursed weapon, or Sago's cursed weapon, or Sets' his cursed weapon, or you get the idea. So once we've uh, assigned uh, a trait that's saying that Drifty can use this cursed weapon, we need to um, test it out to make sure this, all, everything works right. Oh, we have to do one more thing. Sorry about that. We're going to come back to the skills, uh, and we're going to create a co uh, call on that common event. So right here on effects, we have to right-click, edit, go over to other, go to common event, and call on that common event that we created over here, the cursed blade one. And I think that's it. Um, we'll, we'll give it a shot and try it out right now. Um, this is, I'm sorry, not weapons, but actually the skills. This common event, you won't be able to call it from weapons. So you have to do that in the skills. You can see we call the common event here. And then if we have the common event called from the skills and uh, the weapon is set to use a skill and the plugins installed and the actor can use the weapon and all these requirements are met, um, we can create a new chest and put uh, the curse blade in the chest or award it however you want. We're going to create a battle. For this battle, since it's only a 10% chance the battle might go on for a while before you get paralyzed because 1 out of 10 might take a, a little bit to, to proc. Uh, I went ahead and gave a slime a million HP so I don't just keep killing it. Uh, let's test it out and see if it works. First thing we're going to do is 
get our cursed blade, go to our gear, um, equipped, cursed blade. I went ahead and gave it a hundred attack because, you know, it's got a chance to paralyze so it should be worth using. Um, you could even give it crazy, crazy stats with like chance to kill you on hit, you know, it's up to you. It's super powerful but you can end up killing yourself because it's so strong. Um, the, the, the option or the idea is uh, it's only limited by your imagination. I apologize if this is too loud, let me adjust the volume. You can see that I'm already paralyzed. That was that was great. That worked. I tested this earlier, and it took me like I don't know, felt like 20 tries. I'm like, it doesn't work, but it actually did. Uh, right, I was about to give up. I was paralyzed. So there, I'm, I'm paralyzed, uh, and now I'm not paralyzed. So let's see if if we can attack again, and do we get paralyzed? Was that the first time I got paralyzed? The first one again. Okay, that is that is uh, unlikely. But let's make sure it's working right. This shouldn't happen every time. It should be 10% chance. So they're just swinging away after, you know, rounds go by. And you can specify how long you want the para paralysis to last. Um, now, we shouldn't get paralyzed this time. If we do, I'm going to double check everything. Okay, it, it did it. I was going to say the odds of getting paralyzed the first time three times in a row are like 1,000 to 1. So, um... Everything seems to be working fine. That was two hits. Three hits. Right, so it's working, and that's how you do it. That's how you would uh, create it. Hopefully that helps you, Randy Shelton. And if you have any more suggestions for videos or you get stuck somewhere in MB, just leave a comment. Uh, I like making these special request videos because it gives me ideas. Uh, you guys give me a lot of ideas, too. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully it was informative. And if you, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to be kept up to date. And when I post new videos, it really helps me out. It doesn't cost you anything. And it really lets me know that you guys are interested in this sort of thing. So thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you in the next tutorial.